Now, this is the second part of diction. We have equipment, furniture. This should be taken as plural. But you don't say equipments, neither do you say furnitures. They remain equipment, furniture, with a plural verb. Then we have jewelry, sceneries. Jewelries cannot be jewelries. Like sceneries. Jewelry remains jewelry. What's the plural? Pieces of jewelry. Pieces of jewels. Sceneries is allowed. Now we have a number of. This should be used with plural. When you have a number of, so a number of students have presented their projects. Plural. When I say the number of enrollment has, remember, the number of enrollment has increased. So take note. A makes the difference. The makes the difference. Then we have the expression. Very, very often you hear of people say, one of the doctor. It should be one of the doctors. With this expression, the noun at the end of this expression should always, always and forever be with an S. So one of the problems. Noun at the end of the problems is plural. So you say one of the students, one of the learners, one of the athletes, one of the players. Never say one of the house, but one of the houses. A very popular expression is I will fetch my child from school. I will fetch my husband from office. You will say, pick up, use, pick up. Then here is advice with a C, it's a noun. With an S, it's a verb. But it sounds Chili. To hear people say advices. Of course, the plural of this is pieces of advice. Just like information, you don't say informations, you say bits of information. But you may use advices when we are referring to official documents such as documents, advices received from the office of the president to the ambassador of a country. Suppose we have an ambassador in Italy, President Duterte sends a series of advices. This is the time, the only time we may use advices. Do not also say pieces of advice. But the term advices is an official term for communications from the president to a distant place to the Philippine ambassador in Italy. So advices. How about advisor and advisor? Advisor. By the way, this one should sound the same. Er, er. Advisor, advisor. So both are correct. Both 
are correct. Then we have agendas. Very often we say agenda. The agenda is prepared before the meeting. Agenda is the list of items, the list of issues to be settled in a meeting. But we can also now use agendas, provided we use a plural verb. Data, which is the plural of datum, we use a singular verb. So they are both correct. We may say datas, we may say agendas, and data. They are correct in the informal level. So the agendas are prepared by all committees. The data is adequate. Some people might remind us, what about agendum and datum? Yes, it's true, they are correct, but modern English has relegated it now to something which they consider obsolete. Meaning, they are just like museum pieces and they rhyme rightly with agendum datum, they belong to the museum now. Are you surprised? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you will be free and share this manner of using these modern choice of words with others. Let's not answer with questions and questions. Language evolves and let's allow it to change for the best. Good day. And if you like this session, if you enjoyed our session, Register, like, and subscribe, and share it. Share our channel with others.